Hey guys, welcome back to Data with Dominic. And today, in the next part of our PySpark series, we're gonna be looking at how to um, basically write a data frame that we have in our, our PySpark environment into a JSON file, all right? So let's get into the demonstration right away. And we've basically what I've done so far is I've got a, a CSV file which I've uploaded to the DBFS and I've read it into a data frame variable df and I'm just displaying that data frame so that you can see what it's like. It's just a ID, first name, last name, email, gender, and IP address. So now when you want to write a data frame into a JSON file, it's very simple. All you need to do is just write the data frame variable name. Then we do a dot write and dot JSON. And then we just specify the path within the uh, uh, Databricks file system. So I want to put it inside a folder called output and uh, rather I'll call it export. And then we can call the file export json and dot json so let's run this and see if it works yep so it's completed and now if we just want to uh, see where that file has come out we can go to the dbfs and we go to sorry no, output export and then you can see we've got this export json dot json and it will uh, come out as a folder because of the way that Pi, uh, Apache Spark and Databricks work, they are massively parallel processing platforms or frameworks. So they split the file into component partitions and work on them separately in different uh, slave nodes. I've got a little bit about PySpark and its architecture in another video I'll link to that in the top right corner of the screen. But just know that this folder will be a sort of basically an abstraction of the file that we, of the JSON file that we want. And inside that, it's broken down into uh, compartments. But when we access this uh, export JSON.json, it gives us uh, the whole file or it gives us an abstraction of the whole file. So just to confirm that that works, what we can do is we can just write display spark.read.json and then specify the path name again to that particular folder. Export, export JSON, copy path, copy the Spark API format. And then when we paste that in here and run, we should get the same data frame back. So as you can see, we've got, yeah, the same data, break, data frame back. And basically it's, it's sort of sorting for the, the, the order slightly changed because it's sorting for the, um, uh, for the column ID, because that's, uh, 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 data frame specialty when it comes to uh, JSONs. But anyways, you can see that it's working for us. And basically uh, what we did here in this line of code was we just displayed a data frame that was read from this JSON file abstraction. All right. So very simple. Whenever you want to um, use this uh, output of JSON file, you just give this path and it will be basically used as a single JSON file, regardless of the partitions that exist within that uh, uh, folder. So here we've just displayed the whole, we've, we've read the data frame from this path, and then we're displaying it all in one line of code. So that's it. And that's how we write a data frame into a JSON file. Uh, to write it into a single data, a single JSON frame, JSON file, it's a bit more complicated. And we'll be looking into that in coming videos. So I'll see you soon. Thank you guys for, again, for liking, subscribing, commenting, sharing, and all the support that you've given us.